guys, tonight I'm going to be making a couple pizzas. Um, on my pizza, I will be using my minced garlic, some jalapeno, some baby spinach, tomato, some bell peppers, onion, and then I'm going to use the light mozzarella cheese and some of this fat-free crumbled feta cheese. I'm also going to use some chicken, shredded chicken breast that I cooked today. Um, it's just seasoned with the like Lori's chicken taco seasoning. And then over here I've got my organic um, Costco brand Greek nonfat yogurt, my self-rising flour, and then my bag of dried jalapenos that I like to mix into my dough. The second pizza will be my daughter's pizza and it's gonna probably be just jalapeno cheese and then I bought her a little bag of pepperonis. So I'm not gonna be making a video of me prepping everything, making the dough and all of that good stuff because I have a video already and if you're interested and need help on making the dough, you can search hashtag ink not mink recipes and I'll link that in the description as well so anyway I will show you an after video of what I come up with for my pizza and how many points it ends up being and then you see I got my scale ready because I weigh everything I cut up some orange yellow red baby bell peppers some sweet onion um, I like really big slices of tomato on my pizza I've measured out two containers with two ounces of the light mozzarella so this is going to be two points one for each pizza i also measured out one ounce of the fat-free crumbled feta cheese and that's zero points for one ounce i have my garlic um, i use minced garlic in place of pizza sauce so i skip pizza sauce and then my crust will be six points so I'm going to do six, seven, eight points, and let's see, the chicken zero, everything else is zero. So as of right now, I'm going to have an eight point pizza. I like to have everything weighed out, measured, prepped, ready to go, because once you start getting your hands in that dough, um, things can get messy, and I like to just have everything ready. All right, see you in a bit. By the way, I'm going to preheat my oven to 400 degrees. Almost forgot because I washed it and set it to the side. I have my spinach also ready and I like to break off, like if it has a long stem like that, I like to break it off. Hey guys, I actually just wanted to show you my dough. When I mix the jalapeno into the dough, that's what it looks like before I cook it. I started putting the garlic on and then I was like, oh, let me do a quick video. So anyway, um, this is how I do my pizzas. My I mix the dough, two ingredient dough with the dried jalapeno, and then I cover it in minced garlic, and then I add all my topping. Okay, and then I'm going to bake these pizzas at 400 degrees, and it's gonna be usually, I check them on 15 minutes, but it usually takes up to 20. So 15 to 20 minutes at 400 degrees on a pan with holes. Sorry, I have flour all over my hands. And um, this gets it a nice crispy um, crust all the way around. So my daughter's pizza, I was gonna do just the pepperoni jalapeno and mozzarella, but I went ahead and added some feta cheese on there. And I also added some bell peppers. So that's gonna be her pizza and I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna quickly just show you how I layer my pizzas, um, especially when I'm doing spinach. Um, so of course, as you know, we have the dough with the dried jalapeno. And then I did my minced garlic all over because I don't use pizza sauce. And then I always start with the spinach because I found that if you put it on top, No, I didn't put spinach on your pizza. <laughs> my daughter's complaining. Okay, back to my pizza though. I found that if you put spinach on the top, it gets a little dry. So now I've just been layering it underneath everything. And I like spinach, so I'm gonna just put a whole bunch on there. 
Yummy. That's my signature word. Everybody say hello to my daughter. Her hi. Her connect name will be, I believe, Karate Ninja Girl. I'll confirm that when she um, joins next week. <laughs> She's gonna do awesome. Okay, so we start with the spinach, and then I put my cheese. And this is gonna be two ounces of the light mozzarella. And then you have to feed one to your kid that video records for you. <laughs> and then I'm gonna, ooh, that's gonna be hot. Okay, you're ruining my video here. <laughs> She's very distracting. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my feta cheese. I put some of this on yours. And this is measured out at one ounce for zero points. Woo! Look at all that cheese. It's sounds like it's actually good. It is. Okay. Now, now I'm going to put, <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and put my tomatoes. Ew. <laughs> you guys disregard the commentary in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna add tomato on Yeah, that. don't mind the person that's recording for you. Ooh, look at that. And then I will add, oops, I'm gonna add my chicken next. So this is just shredded chicken seasoned with the taco seasoning. I'm just gonna cover it with chicken. This pizza is gonna be so dang heavy, but it's only eight points. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some onion. Your phone is all powdery. Yeah, that's what happens when you make pizza dough. So let's add some. Yeah, you're putting your phone into, into powdery stuff. And then I'm gonna add some of this beautiful bell pepper for some color. Thing is huge, you guys. And then I might be a little rebel and put a couple jalapenos. It's already in my dough too. My daughter wants to eat one. I'm gonna give her this one right here. Where's the camera? Right here. <laughs> Ew. Spicy. <coughs> yeah. See? No. All right. So this is gonna be a huge eight point pizza. Oops. <coughs> and the trick is these pizza pans with the holes, you guys, this is gonna get this crust so firm and it's gonna be able to hold the weight of this pizza. Okay guys, so the 15 minutes is up and my daughter's pizza is done and it looks gorgeous. Look at that crust. Everything's melted, pepperoni is cooked, it looks delicious, it smells yummy. And if I could show you the bottom here, see how crispy that is? So, there you have it. These pans work wonders on this two ingredient dough. Here is my eight point pizza. I have six points for the crust, two points worth the cheese, and everything else is zero points on this loaded pizza. And once again, a nice crispy crust. Um, I started it out on this silver pan, and then as soon as my daughter's pizza was done, I transferred it to this one. It has bigger holes, so. I feel like it cooks it faster. I don't know, could be wrong. Anyway, there it is. I'm going to eat. So see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed the ideas for the pizza. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm eating my pizza, as you can see. And I just wanted to show you, you saw how heavy this pizza is with all those toppings. And look at this crust. I mean, it's just, it's holding up. So, Pizza pan with holes is my tip to you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good weekend, everyone.